Hello, my name is Retro Gaming Goose, and welcome to a new video in a series of uh, playthroughs. Today, we are going through a playthrough of Star Wars Rogue Leader or Rogue Squadron 2 on the GameCube. Uh, so, I have decided after a long time uh, of trying to record uh, Rogue Squadron that I'm just going to abandon that for now because uh, it was getting to a point. There's a part, my, my cartridge is very old, and it was getting to a point where I was on a particular mission. The sound was going, everything was Star like, was, was just breaking, it just wasn't working. So I thought to myself, I'm, I'm, I've already recorded like six episodes on that, so I'm just going to put a pin in it. I will come back as soon as I've got a brand new cart. But in the meantime, I'm going on to Rogue Leader, uh, the next in the series, because I'm going to go through all of the, the Rogue Squadron games. Uh, as always, for my Star Wars games, I have turned off, well, turned down the music because I do not want to get a copyright strike. So if you're here to listen to the lovely Star Wars music, then you will have to go elsewhere because it's it's not going to be in these videos. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do the first couple of missions uh, of Rogue Squadron 2. Now this one I haven't played anywhere near as much as I played Rogue Squadron 1, and I'm probably just as good. Like I am, I don't think I was particularly that good at Rogue Squadron. I feel like I just increasingly throughout the videos got more and more angry. I think uh, a lot of people have said that as well, and yeah, it's a frustrating game, the first one, uh, because it's cheap and it cheats on you, so, you know, but this one I remember being easier, the graphics are much nicer, it's a little bit better to understand what's going on in this one, uh, if I remember correctly, first level is the Death Star, which is pretty fun, and um, yeah, and then we're just going to go through this whole game. I think this game's a little bit shorter as well than Rogue Squadron. I think it's like 10 missions rather than like 16 that Rogue Squadron is. And then after this, we've got loaded up. We will go on to the next game, which is Rebel Rebel Assault. It's the next one, Rebel Assault. Let me just check. Uh, yep, yeah, Rebel Strike is what it is. Not Rebel Assault, that game's trash. I did a video review on it. I hated it. Genuinely. <laughs> Ah, but yeah, all right. So I think the first level is just uh, the game, uh, the Death Star. So we're gonna just continue. There we go. It sounds really weird having the sound effects turned up so much. In. Red ten standing by. Red seven standing by. Red three standing by. Red six standing by. Red nine standing by. Red two standing by. Red eleven standing by. Red five standing by. Lock air spoils in attack position. Watch yourself. There's a lot of fire coming from the right side of that deflection tower. I copy, Red Leader. We've got to destroy those deflection towers. Red Leader, we've got you covered. I'm going after the towers. Cover me. That's a pretty standard mission so far. Oh, that's the boost. Wow, okay, yep, I've just remembered the buttons. Wedge, follow me. Draw that surface fire away from me. Hold on, Luke. I'm on my way. Ah, oh, the guns sound so much better in this one. I like how we can still turn it into first person, which is pretty cool. Oh, and we can look down as well. That's two more to go. One more to go. We're running out of time. Are we running out of time? Nice. Great shot. Red leader, this is base one. Keep half your group out of range. Squad leaders, we've picked up a new group of signals. Enemy fighters coming your way. Oh, 
Alright, there's something that's so fun about dogfighting in, in games like this. Help me with those fighters. Hold on, Luke. I'm on my way. Check your fire. There is like no cooldown on the on these laser type like the, the the guns from the uh, from the X ring. It is just consistent fire. I. I don't like the map so far, oh, the mini map, I don't think it's very good, it's not very good at telling you where everyone is. I can just hear the TIE Fighter. Oh, that sound. Right, where is it? Where is it? See, I'm starting to remember the problem I mainly had with this one. Is that a lot of it takes place in the dark, in space, and it is very hard to see what is going on. Two more to go. One more to go. Nice shot. Get ready for your attack run. Cool. Let me destroy the trench, I guess. Oh, that music's really quiet. It <laughs> sounds really strange. I imagine this is supposed to be a big dramatic moment, but it's hey, just not. It I mean, like, I, I don't really want a copyright like strike, so, you know. We'll stay back far enough to cover you. Ah, oh, this reminds me of that Disney ride. No, I do like this. Is a fun game. It looks really nice. Considering this game came out in like two thousand and. That's some free, maybe? I have to check when it came out, but it came out like pretty early on in the GameCube life cycle, I remember. We might have been 2001, you know. I vaguely remember having a, um, a DVD that was like the Game Awards of 2001 or 2002. Which I got from like a Game Master magazine in the UK, and it's um, and it had like uh, trailers for loads of games. It had Halo Combat Evolved and this on the. Oh man, that's just me trying to show Hurry off. Up, Luke. What do you mean hurry up? Nailed it. Yeah, so I, I vaguely remember that there being a trailer on a DVD that I had for this game and Halo Combat Evolved, so I'm guessing it came out roughly around the same time. I do quite like that first person view I like being able to see in so is strong with this one. Oh no, have I got Darth Vader on me. Oh I do. Use the force look. Stay low. What that is That's rubbish that is. 
I went too high because I was trying to kill Darth Vader. Outrage. That's what that is. His computer's off. Luke, you switched off your targeting computer. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm all right. Oh, I could have hit the wall then. Wow. I really called that. It wasn't just me, but that, that my my Trump visor was being weird, right? Nah, and he got a bronze. Who cares? Uh, I'm not trying to get golds. Shot accuracy, 23%. Tell that to everyone I killed. Right, on to the next mission. I do quite like this mission. It's like a convoy protect mission, I think. But you get to pilot an A-Wing, and A-Wings are sick in this game. I, I've always really liked the A-Wings, to be fair. Red leader here. Sensors don't show any sign of the second convoy. Looks like they ran into trouble. This is the frigate redemption. We'll have to get through this debris before we can make the jump back into hyperspace. Look, enemy fighters approaching from all directions. We're surrounded. I copy, Wedge. We've got to blast our way through. Go after those ties. You got it, Luke. Right, where are they? I can. I hate space missions in general just because you can't see anything on these backdrops. Waiting your orders, Luke. Go after the ties. You got it, Luke. Right, where is he? And this mini map is rubbish. I cannot tell if people are above me, below me. Stunt fighters. Good thinking, Wedge. Let's give those A wings a try. Dock with a frigate and switch craft. You got it, Luke. I'm docking with the frigate. Can I not skip this? <laughs> Ah, I just love the look of the A-Wing, it looks awesome. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Yes, yes, give me the A-Wing. Oh my god, this thing's rapid! We've lost a 
transport. Waiting your orders. Go after those tides. I'm on it. We could use more support over here. I'm just going to keep telling them to keep destroying the TIE fighters because... God, that sounds dramatically different when you're inside. I do not trust this at all. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, same. We're entering the nebula. Keep your eyes peeled. Turn on your targeting computers to identify enemy targets. Pulling up my targeting computer. Enemy fighters approaching from the nebula. Awaiting your orders, Luke. Man, this is hard. Waiting your orders, Luke. We're getting hit hard. Yeah, Wedge, just assume just assume that you you should engage those fighters. Engage the TIE fighters. It, Oh, where is he? We fought him off. We're on your side. We're leaving the nebula. Good job. Please tell me that's the end of this mission. <laughs> I hate space missions like that. Cool, mission complete. What did I get? What did I unlock? Shot accuracy 3%? Whatever. Whatever. This game. This game stats. What are they? Okay. Battle of Hoth. And then after this, I think we'll end it here for this level. Or well, this m session. I'm going to keep... I'm going to try and keep these gameplay videos nice and short and sweet. Transports are preparing for evacuation. Take Rogue Squadron to Outpost Beta and intercept any Imperial forces you may find. We'll need all the time you can buy. Luke, the crew at Outpost Beta is also manning the Iron Cannon. It's providing cover for our transports and their escorts. Copy that, Wedge. Rose, if we lose Outpost Beta, this evacuation won't get past those Star Destroyers. All right, Rogues, stay tight. No, oh, I do like a speeder. Awaiting your orders. Attack those ATSTs. We copy, Luke. We're going after the walkers. Rogue Squadron, how can we help? Oh, okay, yeah, that's on me. I thought I was hitting it. Okay, what we got? I 
I am fairly certain there's not this many. Send them around doing stuff. Excellent, World Group. We'll take it from here. Commander Skywalker, we've got Imperial walkers approaching from the north. Stop their advance. Attack pattern Delta, go now! That armor's too strong for blasters. and tow cables. Go for the legs. It might be our only chance of stopping them. Ah, oh, these animations are brilliant for some of these people. Dak? Dak! Wedge, I've lost my gunner. You'll have to make this shot. I'll cover for you. Set your harpoon. Follow me on the next pass. Coming around, Rogue Leader. Activate Harpoon. Good shot, Jets. So do we not we don't actually get to do this ourselves? Okay. One more pass. Detach cable. That got him. Watch that crossfire, boys. Hobby, I've been hit! Echo Base Commander Skywalker is down. Wedge, lead the attack against the walkers. Okay, Rogue Group. Stay on these walkers. Use your tow cables and break down as many as you can. Ah, so now we get to do it. Oh, stop it. I could have easily flown through the legs. Wow, okay. Is that the end of the mission? It is incredible. Okay, we're gonna go again. Do I actually have to do that all again? Alright, cool. Alright, we'll do this one more time. Straight in. Right, we don't need to see that. It's just. Awaiting your orders. Attack those ATSTs. We copy, Luke. We're going after the walkers. Rogue Squadron, how can we help? ATSTs are heading toward the ion cannon. Stop them! Yes, sir. Attacking the walkers. I do like being able to give commands. It's much better than Rogue Squadron on this N64.
Rogue leader, we're getting pounded out here. What should we do? We're no match for those walkers. Retreat. Yeah. We'll try to cover you. We're making our break. Good luck, rogues. Cool. Excellent rogue group. We'll take it from here. Commander Skywalker, we've got Imperial walkers approaching from the north. Stop their advance. Okay, guys, let's form up. Copy that. Forming on your wing. Steady, Jack. Attack pattern Delta. I didn't realize I could skip that cutscene if I've already seen it once. That's pretty handy. Oh, what? Alright, I can see this being an issue. Come on. generator has been destroyed. Any and all remaining rebel forces, your orders are to retreat. Rogues, we need escorts for the remaining transports. There are X-Wings fueled and waiting for you at Echo Base. Protect the transports and meet us at the rendezvous point. Good luck. Okay, guys. Let's form up. We copy. Forming on your wing. I do like being able to switch, like, switch um, spaceship between, like, it during missions is really cool. Fighters for me. Copy wedge going after the fighters. I really thought I could lock on. Where is it?
Job, Row Group. Now follow those transports and get out of here. We're all clear. Transports, prepare for departure. We're leaving now. Awesome. Right, mission complete. Right, so that is going to be the end of this part of the playthrough for the first one. So this is the end of part one. Stay tuned, and part two will be out very soon. Uh, again, I do have to apologize for ending the Rogue Squadron. Uh, play through early but you know i had to because it's just not working it just wasn't planning out with the the way that the game was like glitching and just being weird it's just it was just awful but anyway um yeah so that has been uh star wars rogue leader uh again my name is the retro gamer goose thank you so much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe to my channel there's going to be plenty of retro gaming stuff um the out that i'm going to be posting very soon and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Also, don't forget to comment. Like and comment if you remember playing this game or if you have any other, like, favourite Star Wars games. Okay, see you in the next video, guys.